So I'm a constituent services representative um, in Columbia, South Carolina for Senator Tim Scott. Been there almost seven months now. I just transitioned from IRS and VA casework, slowly getting rid of that, and I'm transferring to immigration, DOS, passports, so more international stuff. So there's currently five of us. Um, of course, another USC Aiken student just started, um, former USC Aiken student two weeks now um, so we have about five interns as well um, I currently don't have like an office manager role or anything so I'm still technically not the new person but I'm still haven't been there too long but um, so far it's been great all the you know staff in Greenville and North Charleston as well um, you know I speak with them all the time see them at events whenever we do have them and everyone's great yeah so since I deal with a lot of federal agencies, and even in my last job, it was just state level agencies, um, taking a lot of public administration courses with Professor Young, you know, definitely helped me a lot because now I'm not confused when an agency replies to an inquiry that's sit in and they have like this complicated answer. I'm like, well, I already kind of understand it because I've talked about it in class before I've learned about it. And then obviously I'm in the masters of public administration program. So kind of get a little bit more in depth there. Um, but definitely prepared me. Um, so I would think, um, or I would say, Dr. Young probably had the most influence when it came to the job aspect. Um, obviously, every all the entire faculty, history too, since that was my minor, um, everyone had a huge influence. So I will definitely say the, the required course, I think it was a like Poli-Sci 201, I think is what it's called. Um, I had that with Thornburg and you know you have that longer thesis paper for it that definitely prepared me for grad school because um, when I did my application they Clemson said no GRE great but I had to write um, a paper for them instead and they gave me just one prompt no word or page minimum they said it has to be you know to cite your sources obviously um, and it was like okay do the prompt and I was like okay so it kind of, that, having that class, I think it was my junior year, it's fall right before COVID, um, is when I took it and um, it definitely prepared me. Yeah, so uh, Poly 201 definitely prepared me. Um, and I say that just for grad school alone. When it comes to, you know, workforce, um, I would say my internships helped me a lot. I know, so having those internships definitely prepared me for the workforce part. And then I would say the public administration classes definitely helps when you work for a state or federal office, just because you know kind of the ins and outs. You, you learn a lot more, obviously, when you're on the job, but you kind of get an idea of that complicated web that is the federal and state government. Yeah. Um, well, everyone was super helpful. It That was also Dr. Woods uh, before he left, as well as um, Dr. Bersner, even though I only had her for a semester. Everyone super helpful, always willing to talk, um, always willing, even if I can't you know, come by your office, you're always willing to email me, and that goes for all of them, same for the history department. Whenever I had you know, a small minor issue, because I know I asked 10 million questions when a paper is due, um, everyone's super helpful, always willing to give advice on not just classes, but you know, what what internship should I go for? What am I what am I trying to work towards? With my first class that I had in poli sci, um, poli as American National Government. I know that yeah. it was with Dr. Thornburg, and at that time I was undecided. Um, and you know, it was just a required course for social sciences, like everyone else. No one else in there was a poli sci student except for Sam Boyd. He was in there, um, and. My, I would say that's my favorite memory because that was the class to make me want to do poli-sci. And um, I would say vividly whenever he tried to explain how, you know, the House and Senate works and, you know, how you can veto or override the veto and stuff like that, he, instead of just lecturing us, he actually just um, made us as quote-unquote senators and we actually did like an actual um, activity for us so that instead of you know, learning from just taking notes. He went through the activity. No one really realized what he was actually teaching us until he finished and he was like, okay, well that's how an override of a veto works. That's just how this vote works. This is how 
a closer motion works, you know, all of that. And so I never had, so on paper, I never had any notes about it, but, you know, I still remember to this day how it works. Um, so like when a constituent calls me and, you know, they're mad someone didn't vote on something, I vividly remember how the vote works because I don't have to look it up. I can, I already know it in my head. It's ingrained into my, in my brain. Um, I would say another favorite memory was of the two theory classes that I had to take, um, everyone in there I felt like was always like already good friends. So we were we were okay with being open with one another and that's super important. This is because um, I would say I'm pretty different from most of my friends in the poli sci uh, students, the, the groups, because you know, typically you're, you're either on one side or the other and I've always maintained them either. So I argue with both people and <laughs> being friends with them, you have to under, you have to kind of separate that friendship from the arguing. So whenever you're done arguing, you know, you're fine. You know, you're, you're back to good. And that was always a great experience in the theory classes because um, like I said, everyone was already really good friends. I think there's only one person in there that we didn't know. So um, yeah. So I would say, why should you go into poli sci? Um, if you have an interest in government on any level, local, state, or federal, um, and you want to actually make a difference in a constituent's life, because you can, and you know, you kind of learn, you don't learn that in class that you can, but you, I've seen multiple times where, you know, just me reaching out and knowing how the system works, um, you can make a difference. And, you know, that makes all the difference in someone's life that's, you know, going paycheck to paycheck. So you can make a difference, is what I'm trying to say.